So let us try to solve some questions. So we need to find this thing. So if you look at it, it is not directly in terms of GP. 77 by 7 is 11, but 11 times 77 would be 847, I think. So the ratio here is not 11. So this is not directly in terms of a geometric progression. But there's, uh, there is a bit of trick which you can use here in order to bring this to uh, in the form of a geometric progression. So let us denote this sum as Sn. So one thing which you could notice, if you take 7 as common, what would you get? 1 plus 11 plus 111 and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to n terms. Now one thing you could do here is divide and multiply by 9. So if you divide by 9 and multiply by 9 what happens here is 9 plus 99. So if you multiply by 9 then each term gets here multiplied by 9. So you have 999 plus 99 and so on up to 10 terms. You will see why I did that. Now what you can do here is a trick. So 9 is 10 minus 1, right? What is 99? 100 minus 1 or 10 square minus 1. You see what I'm trying to do here is bring this term in form of a geometric progression. Now 99 would be 1000 minus 1. That is 10 to the power 3 minus 1. And this term here would be 10 to the power 4 minus 1 and so on up to n terms. Now what you could do is you can just separate these two terms. So if you write 10, 10 square, 10 cube, 10 4 then they are forming a GP geometric progression. So what we have here is 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube plus 10 4. So this goes on up to n terms right and then if we put all these one together then we will have minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so this 1 will go up to n terms right so now what we have here is this is already a GP now the common ratio r is 10 the first term is 10 Whereas here we are just adding 1 n times. So this thing will be e equal to n. Now what we can do here is just write the formula, use the formula for sum of uh, n terms. So what we have the formula as a multiplied by r to the power n. So r here is 10. 10 to the power n we have n terms minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so we'll have 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 and here we have n right therefore the sum uh, would be 7 by 9 times 10 to the power 10 multiplied by 10 to the power n minus 1 by 9 minus n so now uh, whatever n you are given in the equation you can substitute n and you can get the final answer. So this is an example where you need to use a bit of trick in order to get the terms uh, in form of geometric progression and then use your knowledge about geometric progression and find the final answer. So uh, now we have learned many concepts so the thing to do is just practice as many questions as you want from variety of sources and you will keep on finding new types of problem where you need to think a bit differently and we can reach in many different exciting conclusions. Let us have a look at this example. It says the sum of first three terms of a GP is this and the product is minus one. Find the common ratio and the terms. So there's a little bit of trick again in this question. 
So whenever you are given in this form that the product is this much of three terms. So what we can assume is that let a by r a and a r be the three terms in this uh, gp so what we have here is so a by r a so what is the ratio here r if you multiply by r you get this term if you multiply by r you get this term so these three terms are in a geometric progression now what do we have here we have the sum of first three terms let's go to that later first let's see here their product is minus one so if you uh, do a product of these three terms what do you get a by r multiplied by a multiplied by a r right and in this r and r gets cancelled and this is equal to minus one therefore what we have here is a cube is equal to minus one and now if you only consider the real roots then a will be equal to minus one so using uh, this trick we very easily could find our first term a since uh, it was a by r a a r when you multiplied all these three the r got cancelled and then we just got an equation here in one variable and we found the value of a so this was the trick now it says the sum of first three terms of gp is 13 by 12 now the sum of these three terms so what is the sum a by r plus a plus a r this is equal to 13 by 12 or we can take a as common here and then we will have 1 by r plus 1 plus r is equal to 13 by 12 now just plug in the value of a here a will be minus 1 so let's end here if you uh, to simplify this you'll get r r square so you'll get r square plus r plus 1 by r is equal to minus 13 by 12 now this is a simple uh, equation in one variable which will turn out to be quadratic if you just write a few things here you'll get 12 r square 12 r and then 13 r will come to this side so you'll get 25 r plus 12 is equal to 0 now you can use your knowledge of solving quadratic equations in order to find the roots of this and you will get the solution as r will be equal to either minus 3 by 4 or minus 4 by 3 you try to solve this and uh, you will get this answer so it's simple the question is solved now so what will be the case here one case is for r as minus 3 by 4 so if r is minus 3 by 4 then the first term is minus 1 divided by minus 3 by 4 or you have 4 by 3 minus 1 and then a multiplied by r 3 by 4 so either this could be a geometric progression with above so if you multiply all these three you get minus one and if you add you get 13 by 12 or if r is equal to minus 4 by 3 then a by r would be 3 by 4 minus 1 and 4 by 3 so these are the two cases here either r could be this and the geometric progression could be this or the geometric progression could be this let us have a look at this problem this one is pretty straightforward so in a gp third term is 24 so we have third term how do we write third term a r to the power n minus 1 or a r square a r square is equal to 24 this is equation 1 the sixth term so sixth term would be a r to the power 6 minus 1 that is a r to the power 5 this is equal to 192 this is equation 2 find the 10th term so we have two variables a and r a and r and we have two equations so we should be able to solve it so what we could do here is we can divide equation 2 with equation 1 because doing that will get rid of a therefore we have a r to the power 5 divided by a r square which will be equal to 192 divided by 24 and then we get here r square 
square r cube and we have 24 times 8 as 192 or r cube is equal to 8 therefore the common ratio is 2 now just substitute 2 back here so we have a times 4 is equal to 24 or a is equal to 6 therefore we know a we know r what will be the tenth term tenth term would be a r to the power 9 or 6 times 2 to the power 9 which will be equal to 3072 so this is the answer let's have a look at this one what is a person has two parents four grandparents eight great grandparents and so on find the number of and his ancestors during the 10 generations preceding his own so what we have here is in the first generation we have two four eight and so on and what we need to find is we need to find the number of ancestors during the 10 generations preceding his own therefore we need to find the sum of 10 terms of this geometric progression which will be equal to s10 we can directly write the formula so formula is a times r to the power n minus 1 so r is 2 to the power n is 10 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 therefore what we have here is 2 times 2 to the power 10 minus 1 or this will be equal to 2046 hence the number of ancestors preceding the person is 2046 so basically from these examples you can see is that uh, there are a lot of uh, different varieties of questions that you can frame uh, using uh, geometric progression or arithmetic progression uh, all of these so now you can just practice as many questions as you want from different sources different varieties you'll after some time you'll start to enjoy uh, the process the many different tricks and uh, uh, just by the fact that you can apply the same knowledge in so many different ways